So in this video, I want to talk about uh, a bit of information that has been circulating around the internet and I wanted to clarify a couple of things and of course I will just add some notes in from the last video that I talked about. Of course the author did speak about them saying that they wanted a season two, that they, you know, were basically saying, hey, you know, season two, they're open to it. And so a lot of people have been kind of kicking and screaming about it. It's mainly because every time the author for No Game No Life ever makes a tweet, whether it's anime related or not, or light novel or whatever, even real life stuff, people just pester them all the time. It's one of the reasons why the High School DxD author has just locked up their tweet comments a lot of the times, unless they want comments. Like any of their real life tweets, they lock it up because all they do is get pestered by fans about season five, which really is kind of sad that, and this is mostly Western fans that do this, they just keep pestering them to the point where they just lock up their feeds and stuff. So it's kind of sad, but this bit of information came out couple of hours ago and people have been saying oh my god this is the end no game no life now as much as i do think it is very 50 50 because for some odd reason they release a lot of merchandise for no game no life which would indicate that there's interest in it they wouldn't release merchandise like figures and all that for a series that no one has any interest in because it'd be pointless but people saw this number and went oh my god this is really terrible now the tweet below is absolutely correct that a 2-3k is generally a more solid number for new animes. This isn't a new anime. This is a re-release of a physical copy. Now, of course, it comes with some additional bonuses, but I myself have the physical copies. So why would I want to re-buy another physical copy, even if it came with a couple of extra posters or whatnot? It's just not worth the money for me. Now, it'd be great for those that have dispensable money or never ended up getting it that decide, oh, well, now this is the time for me to get it. Absolutely, this would be all right. But at the end of the day, I don't see this as a big deal. And I kind of, again, keep emphasizing in my videos that DVDs and Blu-ray sales do not matter as much. Sure, if these numbers popped off to like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10K, I'd be making a video saying, okay, this is really good. This increases the chances. But it being low doesn't actually have a negative effect really in my opinion if very little at all if it's a high number sure it has a positive but the negative doesn't matter as much because it most of the revenue will come through things like physical copies of the light novels and mangas it will come from the merchandise like figures shirts bags whatever else particularly figures and then ad additional stuff like collaborations through mobile games Example is High School DxD is getting a mobile game, but they're also collaborating in another mobile game. That's a collaboration. They make money from that. So that helps the series. Just emphasizing on those little things. So I don't see this as the be or end all. I think it just makes for really good headlines on Twitter and on YouTube and stuff and being like, no game, no life, doomed. Maybe I might title it that. I don't know. But it definitely makes for good titles where people will kick kick and scream doom and gloom because of this but this really doesn't matter that much and that's why they made the tweet because it's low numbers so people are going to start talking about it going well this isn't good news this is this is is meh, as kids like to say mid it doesn't really matter it's neither good nor bad if it was higher it'd be great but if it's low it just doesn't really matter because that's not what matters as much anymore they'll stu still do physical copies and i'm sure it'll get a trickle of physical copies and especially if it comes to the west People will buy it up, but I know for a fact most people that I know already own it, a physical copy. And they have no intentions of buying another copy. What's the point? You already own it. You just want to watch the show on it. You don't need all the extra little gibs and gabs that come with it. So, just wanted to clarify that because I've seen a lot of people now saying, Oh, it's never going to get a season two. I'm not saying that it is or is not. I'm just saying th using this as a basis for your argument is flawed. We could use the argument that No Game No Life has just had no real information and it's been so long that it will never get a season two. Some people use the whole banning of Australia for the light novels. That is a misunderstanding on the banning itself. I can still read the light novels legally in this country, which is why you should be careful what content creators say, especially seeing as you have people like, Lost Pause made a video on it years and years and years ago saying the light, the entire series is banned. No, the physical copies were banned for No Game No Life because one of the covers had a depiction of a lolly character that was nude. 
you can still get the digital copies legally. It's just you can't sell the physical with that cover because of our government complaining about it being a depiction of a a younger character. If you want to argue child, lolly, whatever, I don't care at the end of the day, but the facts are the facts. They said that it was inappropriate and they banned the physical copies of those specific volumes. They did the same for uh, To Love Roo. You can still find physical co you can still get digital versions of them, they just don't show the covers for those reasons. Or what they'll do is they'll use a different cover and they'll just change the number a little bit. That's what they'll do. So I just want to be very clear on that because that's another basis as well. If anything does change about this, I will keep people updated. I've been keeping a close eye on No Game, No Life, High School DxD, all those other kind of animes, Overlord and stuff, making sure that people are up to date on what's going on. And I know No Game, No Life is a very, very big one where people kick and scream. But this is another thing that I brought up in the last video. You see all these petitions and 99% of people that sign petitions don't consume content legally. So this is why studios don't care about petitions. It's why I don't make videos like all the other clickbait channels that go, Look, this petition got 100k. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, what ma matters is this. The cheddar. The moolah. The mwah, mwah, mwah. That's what matters. If it's profitable, they'll go for it. But the physical copies don't matter as much. It's merchandise. That's where the big bucks come from. So again, I'll keep you updated. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.